Welcome to Begin With Breath Tai Chi. My name is Dr. Adam Potts, the Tai Chi PT, and today we're going to do a Tai Chi flow to improve balance of body and mind. So we'll begin with the feet together or as close as you can. The hands can come to the lower abdomen, taking a few deep breaths, the belly breath. As you breathe in, the belly expands. And as you breathe out, the belly returns towards the spine. Breathing in and breathing out. Or you can just breathe whichever way feels natural to you. But the key is to really arrive in the body, just letting go of the worries from the day, coming into the here and now. The body and the breath are always in the present. And then on the next inhale, you can hold the breath at the top just for a moment, then let it out with a big sigh, <sighs> just letting out tension and stress. The hands float down by the sides. As you breathe in, the arms float up. They circle in front as if you're gathering in energy. Bring it into the heart. Send it down back towards the earth, sinking the chi. Breathing in, gather. Breathing out. Nice and easy, nice and slow. One more time, sink the chi. And then step one foot out to the side, either foot. The arms float up in front. The arms get heavy, floating down, the knees and hips often opening the door, starting the journey, the commencement. As if you're riding on a wave in the ocean. The tide rolls in. Side rolls out. One more time, open the door. This time the arms float out to the sides like you're spreading your wings. The arms float down, the palms face up, floating up the midline, pressing up overhead, floating out and down, nice big stretch. Breathing in, rising up, breathing out, floating down. We call this one holding up the sky. Helps to really open the shoulders and chest, and decompresses the spine. All right, this time the hands float up to the heart. One hand pushes up, the other pushes down, connecting the sky and the earth. Switching sides, keeping the spine neutral at first. And you can keep it neutral, or if you want, you can do a side bend, easing in nice and slow. Once more to the other side. This time, bottom hand comes up, and then push to the corner. The other hand pushes behind. Coming back to center, push to the other corner. The dragon spreads its wings. This time, you can turn a little more if you want, pivoting on the feet, letting the back heel come up, looking over the shoulder if that feels OK. And then other side, one more time. This time, the back hand swings around as if it's gliding on the surface of the water. The other hand comes around as the dragon swings its tail, sending out the waves into the distance. One more time, drift across. The hands come together, prayer position, they float up, they drift across eye level. And then a little bit lower, across the heart. And then lower abdomen, the swimming dragon. The hands float back up, drift across. A little bit lower, right across the heart. One more time. And then release, round out, hug the tree, and then soften. And then step one foot out a little bit wider. And then from here, the hands come together in prayer position as you sink. Then as you rise up, come out to the side, the fingertips point up. Coming back down to center, go to the other side, Swimming Dragon Part 2. Coming down to center, rising up. All right, one more time. Coming back to center, this time round out the arms, hug the tree, then step the foot in a little bit closer. And then from here, the hands drawn towards the heart, and then push out to the side. Draw the hands back in, and then push out to the other side as the dragon stretches its tail. 
This time as you push out to the side, step the foot in the opposite direction, tapping the toe. Bring it back in, other side. Tapping it out to the side. This time you can tap the toes out in front. Other side. This time tap the toes behind. You don't have to go very far. It's going easy at first if this is one of your first times doing this. All right, and then you can cross behind if you like too, or just step behind. One more time, the dragon stretches its tail. And then hug the tree, soften, <sighs> breathing in the arms, come in, and then push out to the corner as you step out as well. Breathing in as you draw in, breathing out as you push. Pushing the mountain one more time. All right, this time draw the hands in and then the wrists cross down low. The arms float up as they open, circling out and around, and then back down low. The princess in the valley. Breathing in, open, breathing out, or taking as many breaths as you need, as always, as long as you're breathing. One more time, the princess in the valley. And then step the front foot back in, the hands come back in towards the heart. Shift the weight, step to the other corner and push the mountain. Breathing in. <sighs> Breathing out, taking your time, no rush, nowhere to go. Can you be here now? All right, this time the wrists cross down low. Then they float up, they open, circling out and around, and then back down low princess in the valley. Breathe in, open, opening the shoulders and chest, sending energy to the heart and lungs, giving our immune system a little boost as well. All right, this time step the front foot back in, hug the tree, rounding out, soften. Breathing in, the arms open, breathing out, fingertips drift towards each other, hands float down. Drifting over to one side, the arms float up, about shoulder height and then over to the other side. Once again, taking your time, feeling all the sensations that you can. From here, this hand scoops down, it comes right out in front to eye level, and then back down. Same side, just the arms. The hand comes right out in front, the other hand by the hip. Still breathing. All right, this time if you want, you can lift the leg, touching down as needed, the elbow right over the thigh. The rooster stands on one leg. Touching down or lifting up. Meeting yourself where you're at. One more time, the rooster stands on one leg. Hands float over to the other side. The arms float up. And then this hand scoops down and comes right out in front. Floating down. Just the arms again at first. This time you can lift the leg if you like. Touching down as needed. The rooster stands on one leg. You can keep going just like that, or if you want, you can lift a little higher. It's okay if you wobble. <laughs> That's how we train the balance. One more time. The golden rooster stands on one leg. And then circle around, hug the tree, and soften. Step one foot out a little bit wider. And then from here, the arms open up wide. The wrists cross down low. Then as you rise up, the arms open overhead. Gathering the energy from the earth and giving it back to the sky above. Harmonizing yin and yang one more time. All 
and then reverse direction with the arms, circle in front, hug the tree, step in. And then from here, the arms float all the way up overhead. And then you just begin to drift down one side and then drift down the other. Like you're going down the mountain trail all the way to the very bottom of the mountain. And then when you get to the bottom, we'll gather the energy from below, bring it right back up to the mountain peak. And then drifting down the other side, nice and slow, we call this one descending the mountain. And then when you get to the bottom of the mountain, the hands begin to swirl in front, circling right in front, nice and low, like you're stirring the pot. One more time. This time the arms float up to shoulder height and they drift right across the heart, palms face away. Back down, shoulder height, drift across. Like we're painting on the canvas. One more time, breathing in, breathing out. This time the arms float all the way up and over like a big wave, opening the shoulders once again, creating mobility. Breathing in, breathing out one more time, the chin circles. And then from here, the arms float out the other direction. They go up to shoulder height. They drift right across the heart. and then back down, painting on the canvas like we're doing nice, gentle brush strokes. All right, one more time, drift across. This time all the way up and over, just as much as you can. Big chin circles. Breathing, one more time. And then circle in front, hug the tree whenever you're ready. From here, the hands turn. The bottom hand drops down, and then toss away. The hand waves in, and then press forward, palm over palm. Other side, toss away. The hand folds in, and then press right towards me, repulsing the monkey. Breathing in. Breathing out one more time. All right, this time, toss it away. The other hand on top, step in. Both hands together, pushing down and waving in as you soften. Rising up, softening down. Once again, taking your time. Don't want to miss a thing. All right, this time, step out to the corner. As you step out, bottom hand brushes past the knee. Top hand pushes to the corner. Top hand floats down, bottom hand circles up. Coming back to the beginning. Brush knee and push. Breathing in, breathing out. And as always, don't worry about getting it perfect. Just keep on moving. One more time. Brush knee and push. This time, bottom hand scoops up, palms face up towards the sky. The hands draw in, circle the arms out and around. The backs of the hands face each other, palms spiral back up. The mama bear gathers her cubs. Circle it around. One more time. And then step the front foot back in as the hands come in. Circle the hands around, hug the tree. And then this hand here drops down, toss away. Other hand on top, step in. Both hands together, pushing down and waving in as you soften down. Rising up. Letting go, breathing in, breathing out. This time step out to the other corner. And as you step out, the bottom hand brushes past the knee, top hand pushes to the corner, top hand floats down, bottom hand circles up, weaving it all together, brush knee and push. Circling it around, taking your time, how mindful can you be? One more time. Brush knee and push. 
This time, bottom hand scoops under, palms face up. The hands draw in. Circle out and around. Backs of the hands face each other. Spiral the palms back up. Mama Bear gathers her cubs. Circle it around. One more time. And then step the front foot back in. The hands circle around, hug the tree, and then soften. And then from here, the arms open up wide. The hands float down, step one foot in. This time, just staying on the ball of the foot. The arms float out to the sides like a beautiful bird. I call this one the crane. You can keep your toe down or lift it straight up in front. This time, the arms can float up and over just as much as you can. And then stepping down, other side, the crane. And just the arms at first. And then if you want, you can lift this time, breathing in, breathing out. And then this time you can lift the arms overhead and then stepping down. All right, from here you can lift the legs straight up and you can even hold it if you like. Touching down as needed, the crane, breathing in, breathing out one more time. This time you can reach up if you like, and then stepping down, one more round on this side, the crane. Lifting right on up if you want, or touching down, letting go of judgment. Once again, just bringing this sense of curiosity, the beginner's mind. And then coming down to center, this time the wrists cross down low. They float all the way up overhead. And then this time, they float back down low. As you shift your weight to one side, the hands float back behind. You can keep your back toe down or you can lift it as the crane takes flight. And then stepping down, the wrists cross. They float all the way up overhead. Floating back down, shift your weight to the other side. The wings spread behind as the crane takes flight. Coming back down, as if the crane's dipping its beak right in the water, catching the fish, and then floating away. One more time, the crane takes flight. And then stepping down, the arms float all the way up. They float all the way out to the sides and down. And then reversing direction. This time the hands come right in front of the heart, facing each other. And then breathing in, the arms open slightly. Breathing out, they come back towards each other. This time a little bit bigger. Back towards each other. This time big open as you breathe in. Ah, <sighs> Breathing out. Do that again, opening slightly, just like an accordion. And this time a little bit more. This time big open, the accordion breath. One more round, breathing in, opening slightly. Coming back, this time big open, or medium. You can do big if you want. And then this time big open. <sighs> The hands come back towards each other. The hands come right in front of the heart. And then from here, the arms open up and they circle out to the sides. And then back together in front of the heart. Breathing in, open. Breathing out, the heart opening breath. Like you're clearing out old stagnant energy. It's no longer serving you, making room for the new. One more time. Breathe in, open, breathing out. Beautiful. All right, from here, the arms float out to the sides, palms face up, one hand on top of the other. And then this hand floats all the way up and over, and then down the center line of the body. Other side, breathe in as the hand floats up, breathing out, centering, creating focus and clarity, calming the heart, 
calming the mind. One more time, centering. This time, both arms float all the way up and over, just as much as you can. The hands float down to the waist as you soften down, circling in front, gathering in the energy to transform to loving kindness and self-compassion right at the heart. One more time, open the heart. This time, make a diamond shape right in front of the heart and then press out, sending out all your loving kindness to the world. May all beings be free from suffering. May they be happy. May they be healthy. May they live with ease. And then turning your palms to face yourself, the hands come to the heart. May I be kind to myself. May I feel connected with all beings. May I love myself just as I am. And then the hands can float down to the lower abdomen. You can step your feet together or as close as you can. You can close your eyes or keep a soft gaze and let your body rock and sway ever so gently. Bamboo in the wind. Feeling the sensations in the body that arise. Feel the body breathing. And then you can bring your attention into your heart, creating an inner smile, expressing gratitude to yourself and anyone else that made it possible for you to be here today. And then if your eyes were closed, you can slowly open them. The hands can come together in front of the heart. And you can finish with a bow. <laughs>